There are a few ways to solve this one. Here's the approach I took. I knew that the cylinders were all the same length, so created just one. I then reused this cylinder's geometry to make each cylinder object. To get the four rotation axes, I realized these formed an X shape. If I could enumerate all four directions in my loop, I'd be done. So that's what this Trixie code does here. It gives me negative x, negative z on the first iteration, negative x, z on the next, and so on. I then normalize this axis and use it as usual. You could also solve this one by using just two rotation axes and flipping the sine of the theta, rotating each pair of cylinders in opposite directions.